With large touchscreen displays, high-speed connectivity and wireless technologies, megapixel cameras, and a whole array of supporting software applications, today's smartphones are versatile communication and computing devices. In this hyper-competitive market, designers are racing to deliver added functionality in a thinner, lighter, and more reliable product. Let's see how virtual prototyping with ANSYS simulation tools can improve smartphone reliability. We will first begin with model creation and electronic system. ANSYS Workbench is a platform that makes performing multiple physics and multi-physics simulations an easy drag-and-drop operation. In ANSYS Workbench, you can use the ANSYS Design Modeler to create the smartphone model or import a model from other CAD packages. The Design Modeler offers several advanced sketching and modeling capabilities that enable you to review, simplify, and export to different systems for further analysis. ANSYS SI Wave allows users to perform pre- and post-layout what-if analyses for DC voltage drop, DC currents, and DC power loss. This process ensures that power delivery networks PDNs, can deliver the proper power to the integrated circuits. SI Wave integrates a new design ribbon menu bar and workflow wizard, making the simulation setup more convenient and user-friendly. SI Wave DC provides DC IR drop for all nets including power, ground, and signals, DC current distribution including return path, DC current magnitude into and out of VIAS. SI Wave DC also automatically produces pass-fail reports that help engineers make package and PCB design decisions prior to fabrication. Now let's move to thermal. The bi-directional link between ANSYS SI Wave and IcePack can exchange joule heating power losses and temperature data for PCB and IC package designs. ANSYS IcePack can import details of the smartphone model from ANSYS Design Modeler. An SI Wave IcePack coupling wizard automates data transfer between SI Wave and IcePack until convergence is reached. Thermal analysis in IcePack provides the insights of the temperature distribution needed to prevent any damage due to overheating. Now let's look at structural reliability. Here we will be concerned with manufacturing and operational reliability. Excessive warping of PCB can build stress and cause failure during manufacturing and operation. Let's look at how ANSYS Mechanical can be used. ANSYS Mechanical can import ECAD files from a number of EDA packages and analyze the effect of copper distribution without having to resolve the fine feature of traces on PCB. This leads to accurate prediction of local properties, stress, deformation, and helps in quick turnaround time. Here we have a PCB with a BGA package on top of it. Based on the copper distribution in each layer, the material properties will be automatically mapped to ANSYS mesh. We have also imported temperature data from ANSYS ice pack. The animation shows how the variations of copper distribution can lead to the structural disparity across a PCB. Once the structural analysis is done, we can see the deformation of the PCB is not uniform. This is due to the variability of copper distribution. Now let's move on to fatigue analysis for solder ball life prediction. Electronics components undergo various temperature cycles throughout their life cycle, depending on the usage. In this example, we have applied a thermal cycling for extreme condition. The Vaux method is considered to estimate the life cycle of the solder ball, which is subjected to the thermal cycle. Based on stress analysis, we can estimate the number of cycles for crack formation and solder ball failure. Stress and deformation variation during thermal cycle can also be shown. Now let's move on to PCB reflow analysis. An excessive warpage in the board during the baking process can make the joint between board and package weaker, thereby reducing the structural strength of the package. In this example, the temperature variation is applied from 25 degrees and maintained up to 175 degrees and then cooled to room temperature to simulate reflow analysis. Handheld devices are easily damaged due to impact, so design engineers need to ensure the structural resiliency of the product. ANSYS Explicit Dynamics can help you simulate and determine the effect of an impact on a device before physical prototyping. In the animation, we can see the stress buildup on impact, 
and damage to the casing and PCB as it hits the ground. Complete virtual prototyping through ANSYS Multiphysics simulations improves reliability and performance while accelerating product development times.